the U-2 spy plane started production in 1955, ending 1989 to perform reconnaissance missions outside of Soviet missile and radar proximity with an initial budget of $250 million from the CIA, originally equipped with a Trimetrogon A camera producing quality images from high altitude being upgraded numerous times since. Initially powered by the Pratt & Whitney J57P37A producing 11,000 pounds of thrust, the U-2 eventually upgraded to the F-118 GE-101, a turbofan engine with a range of over 7,000 miles producing a maximum thrust of 19,000 pounds allowing for missions without refuels. Due to the U-2's high altitude use, pilots have to wear pressure suits resembling those of astronauts while breathing 100% oxygen due to the risk of big pressurization and nitrogen accumulating in the blood while flying at altitudes exceeding 70,000 feet. Despite the goal of seemingly endless flight, what goes up must come down, including the U-2 Dragon Lady. This proved to be quite difficult, being equipped with two-wheel landing gear and a massive wingspan. A chase car would assist the landing plane by transmitting information such as height.